Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about journals and notebooks, and I have a lot of them. These are my main journals. There's five here. Um, so we're going to do a little journal with me. I'm hoping to do this type of video every week or so, every week to every 10 days. Every Sunday I sit down and plan out the upcoming week, so I'm hoping that I can kind of film this weekly and then maybe post it weekly as well, but I'm going to give myself like a 10 day gap because I know that I'm probably going to be late. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get into it. Grab your journal, grab your sketchbook, your notebook, whatever you're working on at the moment. Throw me on in the background to work alongside you. Um, or if you want to pay attention to this and like take notes as to what I'm saying and you really want to give your undivided attention, that's cool too. Um, the main point in these videos are kind of just to give notebook updates and also gives me an excuse to talk about notebooks because I think my friends are kind of sick of hearing me talk about it all the time so I'm gonna make videos about it instead and I I like watching these videos my favorite um planner journal youtuber is Megan Rian and and I watch her videos the second they come out every time without fail and I like to know what she's doing so I'm gonna start doing the same um, before we start journaling though, I'm going to give you a quick rundown for what each book is, what they do, and then we're only going to be working in two or three of these right now, but these are my main journals and I wanted to share them. So let's do that. Starting off with this one on the top. Um, this is a little guy. This one is an A6 size notebook and I call this my epicenter journal because for me what that means, I don't know if that's an official term that people have used in the past. I am telling myself I made it up because I've never heard it, but that does not mean it doesn't exist. Um, but this is just an A6 notebook. Also, I'm gonna figure out which style is best because I wanna talk to the camera, but I know a lot of other people film like a top-down shot of their notebook so you can really see what's inside. But I also don't really wanna do that because I don't really want you to see the words that I write. And my writing isn't like super small so you can definitely tell what it is that I'm writing and I don't know that I'm wanting people to see everything it's nothing crazy but it's just like I don't know I don't I don't want you to see so we're gonna this video is gonna be set up like this the next one I might throw in some top-down shots um, it's all just an experiment every video on this channel is an experiment at this point because I'm trying new topics and, and styles anyways this video or this journal um, is my epicenter notebook. The rule with this one is if my phone goes with me, so does this. So if I'm going to the store, my phone's gonna go with me, which means this is gonna go with me as well. Um, it's just so that I have it at all times if I need to write something down or make a quick sketch for an idea that I had while I was out. Um, it's just an A6 size Stalogy notebook, um, this red one that I got at a stationery store in LA and originally I didn't know what to do with it. I spent $30 on it and then I found out that I could go on Amazon and get the same notebook for $13 and I was like dang why did I do that because I don't even at the time I didn't really like A6 size notebooks I just wanted a red notebook so bad um, I was on the hunt for a red notebook which is this one right here but when I got this one I didn't have this one yet so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get it it sat over here on the side of my desk for like two or three months because I didn't know what to do with it. And then like t maybe like a week or two ago, I found a use for it. So I made a cover in like a traveler's notebook style cover, this leather one that I made myself. I got some leather materials and some elastic band to make a cover for it. And then I have this little folder that just holds sticky tabs um, and some dot organization stickers, which I use a lot inside to organize my notes. But this one, I just write whatever. To-do lists, um, quick ideas, things that I need to do at my art studio, or just like general tasks that I have to do. I'll write down some mini journal entries that don't have enough to be said to put in a regular journal, so I just jot them down here. I stick pieces of paper that I either find or print out and put it in here. It's kind of whatever I want. And then 
if something needs to be expanded or talked about further, I'll put it in whichever notebook it corresponds to. But this is kind of just like a catch-all system. Um, I have a lot of things that are important to me in here, which I flag with one of these sticky tabs. And they're just kind of things to keep me going and memories and I don't know there's a bunch there's a lot of things in here so it's hard to narrow it down but basically it's just just it's just for whatever I want and I try to use it as much as possible and recently it's been the one that I've been using the most I have this pen loop that I super glued to the back of this and I also super glued an elastic band to it so that I can take this notebook out of the cover because sometimes usually when I go anywhere I take a little bag with me but sometimes I don't so when that is the case I can take this off and then I can just wrap this elastic around it and it stays shut. So that's why I did that. Next up is my full size traveler's notebook, which I also made. I just, I can't justify spending like 50 bucks on a piece of leather when I can just make it myself. So for me, that's what I do. Um, so this is my journal and sketchbook. I have two inserts in here that are both wrapped in this uh, Moterm cover, I believe. I mean, I think I think it's a Moterm cover. I don't know. I got it on Amazon, and it just has a pocket here which has some stickers in it and little things to paste in, and more stickers and stuff in these pockets over here. This first one is my journal. I just have a little tag on it and some stickers. This cat is just funny to me. I think. I don't know it's just there but this is just like a traditional journal I just write in here and I just write whatever I need to write about mainly just words I also do some like memory keeping if the day was interesting or I did something cool I'll write it in here I've already filled up one of these and this one is almost halfway so we're making progress that might not seem like a lot to people who journal consistently i finished other journals before actually i've never finished a book front to back except for the previous journal insert but i've i've got a million books up in my closet but i've just finally found a system that has been working for the last two months so now i know what to do and now everything kind of sticks but it will probably change in the future because it always does but this next journal insert is my sketchbook and on the front of it i just have some doodles of my original characters we have asteroid Right down here, then up here is his best friend, Lucille. And then right here is his little pal, Otto. And yeah, I just have doodles on the front of it. And then inside is just a sketchbook and I just sketch things that are like a personal sketchbook is what I call it. And by that, I mean, it's just what I want to draw or I'm either practicing anatomy or doing a study or something like that but this is just stuff that doesn't have to do with work and the art that I make to sell this is just for me to draw and sketch in and just practice things so that's what that is I haven't been using it too much but my one of my goals this year is to draw in here a lot more and to fill up a few sketchbooks because I've also never done that I always I mean everybody does it you start it and then you're like I don't know that I really want to use this one and then you stop and then you never touch it again so I really want to finish a sketchbook because I've never done that um, but yeah that's the journal this next one is actually a pretty cool one it's a moleskin notebook that has like two different pages one side of it is blank and the other side has lines so I've been using this one to write um, the asteroid novel I've just got notes in here things like that it's pretty much just words i don't want to show you anything because it's all top secret to me and you'll read it eventually 2025 you can read the book hopefully if i finish it um but that's what that one is this one's also used pretty frequently i don't use it every day but it's frequently used so i put it in my rotation of books this next one is the notebook that i had been searching for for weeks and I found it this is a red moleskin expanded so it's got 400 pages I could not find this anywhere I mean I could find it online but that's not fun to me and I wanted to find it in person so I eventually found it at a bookstore down in San Diego and I got it right away this is my work 
notebook slash sketchbook. So anything that has to do with um, products or storylines or stuff that isn't novel related or personal goes in here. So I just, I plan a lot of things. I have some character sheets, expression sheets, um, and I just, I write, I sketch, I do kind of everything in here. I want everything that's work related to kind of be in the same notebook. So that's what that is. We got more character design stuff and yeah, I'll, I'll brainstorm story ideas. I'll sketch comic strips like this one. Um, but that's what that one's for. And this one gets used almost every day. The last notebook that we have to go through is my 2024 Hobonichi Cousin. And this one is my planner, but also it is a commonplace. And the commonplace notebook is basically, you can kind of adapt it to how you want, but I think traditionally it's for writers and researchers to gather information so that when they go to write whatever it is that they're writing, they have it all kind of in one place. I like to use it sort of like that, but I also just take notes of whatever I'm needing to research on, or I, I, I don't know. I kind of, it's, I don't keep it as strict, but there are things that I do with it that pertain to commonplacing. Um, but the Hobonichi Cousin is really cool because it has a monthly calendar layout, and then you also have a weekly calendar layout, and then you have daily pages in the back, which is where I commonplace. But I just use it pretty straightforward, like a planner. Um, at least in the monthly and weekly section. So today we're going to go and work on the weekly section of this book and a little bit in the monthly, but not too much. I usually do that at the end of the month into the next month. And then every Sunday, like I said, I plan the week. But yeah, I just use it as a planner. And then back in these daily pages is where things are a little more fun. In this top section of the book, I split the page in half. And this top section is used for the common placing, which is where I research and do all that stuff. And then the bottom is what pertains to the day up here. So this is January 7th. So this bottom section is kind of like a mini journal entry of the day. And I don't always keep that rule. This book is, if the rule for this one for me is, if the commonplace entry that I'm writing is more important, then I'll just continue it all the way down the page. And then if I want a journal, I can do it in my journal or my smaller notebook. So some of the days don't get a section to write in and I just use it as a commonplace. But that's how that one is. I typically write pages ahead of the day that I'm on. So I'm currently, actually I'm right on. Today is January 14th and I'm that's the page that I'm on. So I'm kind of caught up, but usually I'll be on like January 19th writing in research notes and then still on January 14th. So usually the commonplace entry is filled out before I go into the daily section. So I'll know whether or not I have space to write for the day. Um, but yeah, that's the overview. I know I said quick, but that ended up being kind of long, but I, j I have a lot to say. But if that wasn't enough information for you, let me know and I'll make a separate video talking very in depth of how the systems work in which, where I write what, and I don't know, this is a very complex system that to me makes perfect sense and it's all stuck up here. So I don't know if anybody's interested. I personally am interested in this stuff and I like seeing what people do. So if you are also like that, let me know and I can make a video about that. But anyways, let's get to some actual journaling. Um, I'm going to be working in these three books right now. I think, and then I printed out some stuff that I'll show you in a second. All right, so this is just a plastic like photo album case, I think it is, that I got from Michaels a long time ago. And I just use it to kind of hold my most used pen so that when I'm going out, I can just kind of grab this little thing and just throw it in the bag. And then this is all my like most used stationary stuff. So really quickly, we have a Zebra Sarasa pen um, this is the dry, or the mark on edition in point four. This pen is amazing because it dries super quickly and it writes really nice. Um, pilot friction in point seven, another pilot friction in point seven, but this is a dark blue ink and also has like a click thing. 
Um, I have another Pilot Friction pen in point 0.5. I really like these pens to plan because they erase, so it's nice to write it. And if I got to change it, I can change it. I have two mild liner um, markers, highlighters. I have a brown one and a blue one. This is my favorite pencil of all time. It's the Graph Gear 500 by Pentel. It's a 0.3 lead, super fine. You can do really cool detailing and it works really well for shading as well. Um, and then I have two Caveco Sport fountain pens. This one has brown ink in it and this one has like a denim blue ink in it. And I really like writing with those pens. I also have, I have a ton of these because one time I placed an Amazon order and they sent me a massive box with, I think, what did I get? It was like 48 of these. So I split them with my friend and now I have 24. Um, I love these because I tape things into my notebooks all the time. So that's great. And I have these tiny little scissors. And I have a bunch of photos and uh, articles cut out to paste in my notebook. But today, I don't think we're going to paste anything from here in. I'm going to throw this all back in here. Um, in the previous video on this channel, I talked about the projects that I'm doing for this year. And one of them is writing. So I have, I printed out um, the first chapter of this little storybook that I'm writing. And I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it in my notebooks somehow, but I'm not sure yet. But I printed it out. And like, look how cool. It's literally like a, like a book. Like it's like a real book. And I folded, where is it? Uh, over here. I folded one and then glued them together. So this one is like a proper book that you can like flip through, which is cool. Um, but if you want to learn more about that, you can watch the past video. It's somewhere up there. Um, so I printed that out and then I printed the illustrations from that book as well. So I'm going to cut these out and then paste them into my journal. Um, I don't, I never know what to say when I'm sitting down and filming these videos now. This is only the second one that I've done of this style where I like set up at my desk and uh, talk about things while I do things. So I don't really know what to say. Um, I'll talk about the story a little bit. So I, I talked about it in the last video about what the whole project is and but for a little refresher I was going to call them chapters and they were going to be like different story uh, aesthetics every few months just so that I could make new products and work on new characters without giving away the storyline for the comic series and the book that I'm writing and it just just a way to like keep it entertaining and fun and I can create new characters without having to worry about how it affects other things. Um, so I originally was going to call them chapters and then it'd be like chapter one, Asteroids Rodeo, chapter two, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then when I went to go write these little stories, I always knew that I wanted each chapter to have a story. And when I went to write them, I was like, okay, I want to release bits and pieces of the story each week to kind of get people to come back and see what the next part was kind of how people will drop like an episode every week of a show and then you get more and more of the story so that was the intention for that but then when I went to like format everything I was like oh I'm gonna have to call the book part it's gonna have to be ha it's gonna have to have chapters so now what do I call what I was gonna call the chapters I don't know um I don't know what I'm going to call them yet. Right now I'm just calling it part one, Asteroids Rodeo, and then I can do Asteroids Rodeo chapter one for the writing. And I don't know, I have a few ideas floating around of what to call them, but if anybody has any suggestions, um, that would be very cool. Right now I'm kind of going to call them, I guess, fables, because yeah, I'm either going to call them fables or tales. I kind of like fables because it's like a more old reference to what people called stories and I just think fables kind of sounds cool but I also don't like how the word looks when you write it it just doesn't look that nice so I don't know what I'm going to call them but any suggestions
please leave them down below. Um, it has to be something that encompasses a big body of work because it's going to be a book, like mini storybooks. There's going to be products. There's going to be comic strips, um, sculptures, and uh, paintings and stuff. So it's got to be like I don't know what to, what you call like a collection of work like that. Um, so if anybody, like I said, has any ideas, let me know. Um, I would really appreciate it. But for now, I don't I don't really know what to call them for now. Actually, I'm just calling it part one is what I'm doing. But anyways, um, the storybook chapter one I posted yesterday. So chapter two is going to come out next week. Basically, I'm hoping this works out so that when I post a chapter, I can print it out. And then for this video of the journaling every week, I'll have the next chapter and I can do what I'm doing now. It's not going to be like that every week, but that's kind of how it works out. And and yeah, so I posted this yesterday, chapter one of Asteroids Rodeo, and I'm really, I'm really excited for it, actually. And I, I was always excited for it, but posting it and like kind of getting the pages out there and with the illustrations was really cool. And I feel excited for what it can bring. And I think I'm, I don't know, I'm just looking forward to what happens with it. Um, I've now cut these out. And I think these pages might be too big for my notebook, so let's, I'm going to plan first. And then I'll stick these in somewhere. So, every Sunday, I sit down and I plan the next week. So, I've already done a little bit of the planning, but I need to kind of put in... I've been using these, um, where did that go? Over oh, right here. I've been using the habit trackers that Megan Rhiannon uh, has on her Patreon. I'm one of her Patreon members and she's puts these, she puts these little habit tracker card things on, on her Patreon for you to use. And I really like them actually. I, I, rig I used to not be someone who tracks things every week, but it's actually become very helpful because I realize I don't have that great of a memory. Like I don't remember what I ate yesterday. So I've been, so I've been kind of tracking different things. Um, I was tracking when I post online, if I've drinking a full hydro flask every day, um, if I've eaten three meals a day and the days that I am making content, not just posting it, but making it as well. So I think that's a very important thing for me to track. So I've been pasting these in. So I'm going to do that now. But I don't know. I used to not track things because I was like, what's the point in tracking it? I don't need, like, I'm not, I kind of, I guess I always thought that they were, the point of it was to like build a habit of something and not just to track it out of curiosity. And then I don't know who I was watching said that they just track it to track and just to see how much it is not because they're trying to do it whatever it is every day i was like oh that that makes sense so then i i uh downloaded it and printed it out and i was like you know what this is actually cool because then i can see how much of certain things that i'm doing but it's not with the intent of like i want to do these things every single day it's more just like to see how often i'm doing it um so it's become a lot more useful to me so i'm just gonna put in those same uh, tasks, I guess. So posting online, content creation, a full bottle of, for full, what am I saying? Full hydro flask. I'm not on like a diet or anything, but I do want to make sure that I'm eating three meals a day. I often am eating like two, sometimes one a day. And it's not, like intentional i just i i genuinely forget to eat so i really want to make sure that i'm eating three meals a day um and i don't know if i did today today i did not i had, I had lunch and dinner but i did not have a breakfast but it's just um interesting for me to track those things and see what it is that i'm keeping up with okay um so this next week it's actually a very busy week. I have a lot of work things to do for myself, and then I have a couple different appointments and meetings, so it's actually a fairly busy week. 
Um, but basically, how I do this is I split a part of it into... Okay, I don't like this weekly layout. If you're familiar with the Hobonichi cousin, um, the weekly layout is vertical, which I do not like at all. And I never used it. I had one of these last year, and I didn't use it because I just couldn't figure out a way that made sense for me, and it was too small to write things in. The way that I do it now is on the side column all the way to the left I write down like a dashboard of all the big tasks that I have to do that need to be tracked or planned day to day and then smaller like to-do list items like laundry or um, I don't know fill up my gas something like that I'll put at the very top but these are like the bigger ones so I have YouTube video then I have a comic strip to do or I have the next chapter of the book to upload um, another video to film, shop update stuff, and then I'll put the main header on the left, and then I'll just write across this way, so every day I'll put what needs to be done for that task, if that makes sense, and then I'll just draw arrows for what days they overlap through, and I think that's working pretty good, because it gives me the horizontal, like, reading format, but then I can also see which day corresponds to what tasks i really liked it last week and it made sense to me and it like visually looked appropriate as well so i think it's going to be good on this top section i'll put like i said like smaller tasks and then at the very top right under the date there's like a big white space so i'll put like the main important thing or if there's an appointment that day or a meeting or something like that i'll put that at the very top in those boxes and then in the graph section put like smaller to-do list and then at about the 20 line is where i section it off from the dashboard like the horizontal to-dos and then that's where i kind of track stuff but yeah this notebook i i um i mainly want it to be a little more towards work stuff but there's a lot of personal things in here like appointments or meetings and then i'm also tracking like more personal things that you wouldn't track for work but I let the two overlap in this one, but it's mainly for work um, notes, but yeah. So then I'll go back to my monthly layout and just see if I'm like on track with uh, what I have planned for the month. So it's basically, I check my monthly, check here, and then go to the daily. But I think everything lines up, so I, I mean, I pretty much wrote in everything I want to do. So, I think now, I pretty much just leave everything as is. Well, I'm going to draw across at the 20 line. I start school in two weeks from tomorrow. And I'm a little nervous, but not super. I'm, w I'm more excited, I think, than I am nervous. Um, I'm finally in a law class, which I really wanted to get into. And... I'm taking ceramics, I think, because I wanted to do a 3D class. I mentioned this in the last video. I wanted to do a 3D class, but I registered for it incorrectly, and now I'm on the wait list. So I guess for whatever reason, my backup was ceramics. I don't remember doing that, or I remember doing that, but I thought I took it off because I was like, I don't need to do ceramics. I can I can learn that elsewhere. Like I don't want to do that at school, but I. I'm taking ceramics, I guess, which is cool. I'm excited, and I can make, learn how to make new products, and just like, I don't know, I want to make a mug really bad. I'm really happy that I've finally found a journaling, like, routine or setup with these books, because last year was a, a whirlwind of trying new books, buying new books, and now this system that I've been using for the past like month maybe two months has been working really well which is a shocker i haven't taken out any of the books or added well i added that small one but that one doesn't really count i have to write in here for my daily sort of updates what did i do today oh i was at the studio all day today i think i'm gonna do i think i'll paste this little um sconce illustration that I did in here for today 
I really, oh, damn it. The thing about these pages, though, they're so thin, and I'm always scared that I'm going to rip them right through. Um, is it weird if I just start writing <laughs> and I don't talk? I don't know. I can't write and talk at the same time. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not that coordinated, but I don't know. I don't know. Wait, no. Now I feel awkward. I feel really weird now. If I just sit here and write and, and, and become silent, what do I do? I'm stuck. Uh... I don't care. You know, no. We'll take a break. You're probably working on something right now, so it's not going to matter. Um, I don't know. Where does that line end? Over right here. Okay. Okay, I feel really weird doing this right now, so I think I'm just going to set everything up. And then when I finish filming, I'll write in what I need to write in. I don't know. It feels too weird. At my studio, I have an art studio with my mom. We split it, um, and she sells at a few different shops around San Diego, and one of them she stopped selling at. She took her stuff out of, so she took all of her booth accessories and displays down, and one of the things that she had at that display was like a wall that sectioned off her stuff from the other people's, and since she, uh, since she took all that stuff out of that spot we brought the wall to the studio so now my studio looks completely different and it's really starting to get uh set up the way that i want it to i really want to make my side of the studio like victorian vintage i ordered some wallpaper from amazon that i'm gonna that's supposed to get here tomorrow morning and then i'm gonna go right over to the studio and put it up there's this photo that i found of a bathroom that had a really cool wall so i wanted to replicate it here's what it looks like um and i i don't know i really want it to look cool and i want it to look like vintage victorian so i'm going to replicate that on the wall tomorrow but everything looks really cozy and it finally feels like i don't know it's starting it just feels a lot more cozy and like a space that i can work in before I don't know. It was a really weird time because when we rented the studio, we started renting in October. I couldn't drive my car for a few months from like October to December. I had to get I had to get certain things fixed and then my registration was a whole debacle. And so in order to go to the studio, I had to have someone like drop me off. So I didn't get to go that much. And it just was, I don't know, I wasn't, I was excited to have it, but it wasn't as exciting now i now that my car is able to be driven and the wall is up and things are kind of going where they need to go it's it's like now really feeling like i have a studio so i'm really excited tomorrow to um put everything where it needs to go and decorate the walls and stuff like that i'm gonna i'm gonna be able to start filming videos there and stuff and doing bigger projects and whatever which is cool um Okay, so I'm going to plan, whoa, I'm going to plan out tomorrow's stuff. What's tomorrow? The 15th, I think, right? Yeah. The wallpaper is supposed to get here at like 7 from Amazon, but they they always run late for me. Also, our FedEx, I don't know, for what, for some reason, it, okay, is everybody else's FedEx like just horrible? Because the FedEx that we have... I, oh my gosh, there's so many times where I've been in the living room and I can see my driveway from my living room and I'll see them and they pull up and it's a FedEx truck. They pull up and my driveway is like really intricate. So when people pull up into the driveway, it's not directly in our driveway. It's kind of like a shared section. They pull up, start going into my driveway. They don't even go all the way to the door. They literally, I have seen them take the package i'm not kidding and they just chuck it into the bushes nowhere near the door i don't know what is up with fedex and i think it's stupid i've seen them do it so many times like what i don't know why they do that but anyways our mail from everywhere always comes late from usps from fedex amazon always comes late 
So when they say from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., I know it's going to get here at 11. Um, but tomorrow I'm really going to focus on just getting the studio dialed in as much as I can. So I'm going to put up my wallpaper. I have to go to Lowe's. I was going to paint the wall, but I think I'm going to paint the other walls maybe. I don't know. I'm allowed to paint the walls of my studio, which is really cool. Our landlord, I guess, um, she really doesn't care what you do in the, st in the studios, um, which is awesome. So I'm going to paint the wall. I don't know if I'm going to do that tomorrow, though. I think that's all that I have to do for now. I don't... These, these pages don't fit in the notebook, so I don't know what to do with them. I think I'm just going to turn them into another little booklet. And maybe like annotate it what am i going to annotate i don't know i don't know but if you want to get if you want to download this to put in your journal or draw around it or whatever if you just want to have the pages to read um or you also want the illustrations um i have a digital download in the link um it's probably gonna be through my it's probably gonna be through my website at, at the time of filming this i don't know where i'm gonna post it or it's, it's down there somewhere in the description if you want to get it and just cut them out, put them in your journal or do whatever you want with them. Just don't sell them because it's not yours to sell. Paint on them, color on them, put them on your walls if you want. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, every week I also want to have like a digital download for you to print out and do something with. Don't hold me to that, because that might be a little more than I can handle. But I like when people do digital downloads, because I like putting stuff in my notebooks now. Um, so yeah, if you want to get those down below. If you want to get anything from my shop, too, you might as well while you're at it. Just saying. Um, but I think that's all I'm doing for today. Next week, I'm going to plan out a little more of what I, what I need to do in my notebooks. So it's a little more exciting, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully you got to get some work done alongside me and and I'll talk to you next week or in the next video, whatever it is. Never gonna know how to net I'm never gonna know how to end a video, am I? I'm just gonna sit here until you leave. So I don't have to have a <laughs> formal ending. Okay. I'm gonna go. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.